Hello everybody, it's Kirsty. I solve crimes using astrology. Now I had a lovely email. Thank you so much for emailing me. I won't put the name of I won't say the name of the person that emailed me because of privacy, but thank you very much. And this case was presented to me by this lovely lady who subscribes and it is the disappearance of Timothy Pitson. Now, here's little Timothy with his father, James. Now, he was just six years old from Aurora in Illinois. And his father took him to school on the 11th of May 2011. And then at 10 past eight, his mother came and picked him up from Greenman Elementary School, checked him out saying that it was a non-existent family emergency and then went off on a bit of a jaunt around the countryside. She took um, little Timothy to Brookfield Zoo, then Key Lime Cove Resort, then to Kalahari Resort in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, where he was last spotted, uh, spotted on security footage, sorry, spotted on security footage in the checkout line at the Kalahari Resort at 10 a.m. So I'm using two charts specifically 8 10 a.m. the morning that Timothy was taken out of school by his mother and then 10 a.m. when he was seen on CCTV. Now sadly between 12 o'clock and 1.30 on the 13th of May Amy Pitson, Timothy's mother, phoned several family members, including her mum and her brother-in-law, so James's brother, telling them that Timothy was safe and not in any danger. Now, I've got a map here where that all happened. Then, sadly, she was seen alone after that, and at 12.30 on the 14th of May, her body was found in a hotel in Rockford um, so she went all over the countryside with Timothy and then he vanished was last seen at 10 a.m. on the 12th and then on the 14th his mum committed suicide she left a note saying that he was actually safe and that was with people that would care for him um, police did find some blood a concerning amount of blood in her vehicle but family members said that he suffered from a nosebleed so i don't know that i think personally that probably should have been looked into more if it wasn't um her f her cell phone was located beside route 78 but that didn't show anything so we'll have a look at all these places but basically we want to know where Timothy is so we're going to use the two charts I looked at we're going to map we're using the moon primarily for Timothy because he's a young boy and the moon works very well in criminal astrology when looking for young children we look to the moon so as normal, I'm going to look at charts, times, evidence, maps, and let's see what we can figure out. Inevitably, this is going to go into a couple of parts because it doesn't all make itself apparent the first time I look at something. But I want to do it live on YouTube, well not live, but I want to do it for me on YouTube so everybody can see the process and we can see the whole thing happening from start to end. If I just do notes in the background, it's not going to show anything and won't teach anybody anything. So I'll stop rambling. Let's, these are the two charts that I want to look at. Amy, which is Timothy's mum, took him from school at in Aurora on the 11th of May 2011 at 10 past 8 so that's this chart and then this chart is 
the 12th of May, 10 a.m. in Wisconsin Dells, where he was last seen on CCTV. So two firm times that were captured on CCTV and that give us a big enough picture between the dates to see what's going on. So the first chart that we look at, and the first chart is always really important. We can see here, zoom in, zero degrees of Cancer is rising. Cancer is the moon and the moon is the co-ruler of Timothy and the actual ruler of Timothy and the moon is also our mother. So here we have Timothy with his mother but unfortunately, and you'll see it straight away as I did, the moon is at 29 degrees of Leo. It's in a very pivotal, unhelpful position and a position that shows up very often when there's something that's gone wrong. So I have to say that straight off the bat, the first chart does not look very good. So Cancer is rising, which is Timothy in the third house in Leo. Now when we go over to this other CCTV, Cancer is also rising, later degrees, 24. So that's he's represented by the moon and the moon again is in the third house. It's really showing me that he's on the move. He's on the move then and he's on the move then. But what we can do is gleam degrees and things for the map from both of these, so that's good. So we have both moons in both situations ruling Timothy, showing his mum was there with him at the time and he's on the move. Now this first chart here, so the perpetrator, it's his mother, we know, she took him at 8.10. She's ruled by Capricorn. Capricorn is Saturn and Capricorn is the, an authority figure. It usually represents a male, but it can just be a person in authority. Amy was in authority. She was his mum. It's sitting in the fifth house here, which is of the firstborn child. So I'm assuming that's the firstborn child that Timothy is, but anyway. It's in the house of children. So that shows us she's gone there to pick up Timothy. But the 29 degree moon shows me that there's something untoward about her reasoning and her mental state at that time because that's our emotions, the moon. So it's not only Timothy, but it's, it's her. It's her emotions. And at 29 degrees, it's, you're at the precipice of not being able to go back to how you felt before. So 29 is very important there, like I said. Okay. Just zoom out. Okay, so remembering this is when she picked him up from school and this was when he was on CCTV. Now, Saturn here is her, like I said, in the fifth house. Now, Saturn also rules the perpetrator, which is her, at the other time at 10 a.m. on the, the other day and that is sitting right in the fourth house which we all know as you should know by now I say it all the time is the womb and the tomb or the end of life so it can show us that um, the perpetrator is actually in the process of there's no nice way to say it, ending this this little boy's life. Obviously, he's being seen on CCTV at 10am at this time, so she's not taking his life right at that minute. But what I'm seeing with the moon in the third house is that's co-ruling Timothy. He's on the move with his mum on the way to where he's going to be finally laid. I just can't see anywhere in any of these charts an indication that he's actually alive and I've done so many of these sadly that to me it was she took him on a last holiday um, before the inevitable end I don't see anybody that she that there's no Gemini or Mercury in the perpetrators area 
there's no strong indication. I mean, we have we do have a big conjunction of Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, but they are not in relation to the rulers of this situation. So I don't see other people involved. I don't think she's handed off Timothy to anybody else. I think she's decided that it's best for him to not be around because she's not going to be around. And that often happens with women that plan on killing themselves. They don't want their children to have to live without them. And I think that might be the case here. Now, the final time he was seen on CCTV, we've got Neptune and Chiron in the eighth house of death. Now, this, along with things that I know, and it's also aspecting Mars at one degree there, so Mars is our anger and how angry we are and what it, her anger was towards the world and herself and etc. It wasn't an outward rage. Um, I believe that, I hope I'm wrong and that he's alive, but if he isn't, I actually think that she possibly gave him medication. Um, maybe the antihistamines that she took herself uh, as because she took antihistamines and slit her wrists so it's so awful um, but it does actually appear as though there's some intent on doing something similar but po women tend to drug and poison um, in in most cases especially when suicide is hap going to happen so she used a knife on herself, but I don't believe she did so with Timothy. I think she loved him a lot, but she just didn't want him to not have a mum. It's a very selfish act and it's very sad, but this to me, um, it, it just shows that there's, it's possible that he passed away because she gave him too many pill, pills. So I believe that he's around the area that she made the phone calls, which is around Sterling, which I'll go to the map um, and show you. But yeah, in both instances, like I said, there, there really is no indication of passing him off to friends. Um, let's see. Pluto here is in the seventh house and at seven degrees it's not doing much over here the eleventh house is friends but and there's a lot of action in the house of friends so we need to be very discerning here the moon which is timothy is trining mercury and venus and jupiter quite widely see this is the the school morning and she's on her way somewhere now she's not on her way to the zoo to see friends so if we didn't know where she went you could say well perhaps she's gone to see these people that are going to take Timothy but we know at this time she actually went to the zoo and then went on a two-day holiday with Timothy before she killed herself. Okay, well, here's the map initially. So I will show you what I've done here. This middle line, oh, you can't see it. Okay, the middle radius is 164 miles, which is this moon here. I'm going to use the moon for radius this time. I'm experimenting. We use the angles and we use particular planets. Okay, so and then the outer one is 179, which is the moon in this chart here. Okay, so we have, oops, a daisy. So we have two outer areas here. Now, this is Kalahari. Um, <coughs> excuse me resort okay the, the the place we know that he was last seen 
the zoo that they went to is over here then the 29 degree moon runs along here and it was interesting excuse me, I've got a fly on my nose because I've noted here that the 29 degree moon so that's Timothy it goes through Aurora which is where he went to school where he's from so have a look here I don't know this might stand out to you because you know the case more I know you know who I'm talking about my lovely friend my email friend um, but there's some area here okay so the and then because we have a nice little gap here from between the two moons I think this area is important as well so if we went further down we've got Rockdale Des Plains River I'll get into that further when we when I do more mapping obviously this is just a cursory look now the place where the phone call was made to her family was Sterling Rock Falls now that line is adjacent to Route 40 um, and goes bloody flies on my nose the Green River runs through it goes down to Bradford roughly so we've we've got a couple of lines here but my main interest my area of interest is between the zoo and Aurora so even though she was found in Rockford which was up here well I'm not sure where she was even we may find that her hotel is actually on this line here I'll have a look at that in a minute but this wedge here is what I'm interested in well in fact really we need to go with this whole wedge and this wedge here but initially we've got a nice sliver that comes from the resort Lake Wisconsin all these little places through here around here so that's my f this is my first area of interest from Sterling over to basically the zoo but the zoo just happens to fall on a position where the astrology sits as well so the, as normal the places that she's visited uh, are shown by the areas in the chart so that that happens a lot narrowing down where he may be where Timothy may be is more difficult obviously but he's represented as I said by the 29 degree Leo moon and that's this spot if we zoom in and we get both cross areas this is the exact area we're going to get off West Willington Road uh, between West Willington Road in Simerton and South Cedar Road so that's where the actual place goes map wise the more mapping on a different video I need to get into it a whole lot more and I need to find more specific areas I want to map exactly where her phone was found in relation to everything else but back to these charts now there's also another reason why I can why I feel that I can say that I think that he's actually not with us and that's just from not even looking at the chart at the moment but that's from the mindset of his mother at the time I myself had a friend whose mother killed herself and killed her son, her son which was my friend's brother with her because she didn't feel and she was mentally ill as I believe Timothy's mum was mentally ill as well she didn't believe that anybody else would be able to take care of her son 
and amazingly enough his name was Timothy but the same situation she did not believe that even though there was the rest of the family a very capable loving family and nobody else could have looked after him the way that she did and in fact I know of another person whose son Robbie a dear friend who did the same thing as well it's a pattern that does occur and in both situations both mothers gave their young sons too many tablets and that's what looks like has happened here both of the times he is in on a journey Timothy he's going somewhere the last time he's seen on CCTV Neptune's in the house of death and Neptune is drugs his physical body is in the fourth house of endings but he is also represented by moving so even in a car just moving along in a car so I can see in the charts as well as having personal experience many times over with a similar situation if he was alive she would have left him with his dad so you know you don't you don't just go and give them to other people and then kill yourself it doesn't it doesn't work like that I mean I'm I don't know everything but I certainly don't feel that that's the case so here I mean we can even see when we look at the moon which is always the mother and Timothy in this case but the moon is opposing Neptune which is the delusional mind so she's not thinking straight Saturn here is squaring Pluto so Pluto which is in the house of the perpetrator so she's got heavy Pluto on her shoulders there and then a challenge in regard to what she's going to do with Timothy right from the start so she knew I believe what she was going to do with him and I think probably planned it for a, a little while it's not a coincidence that both of these charts show him being with her and in the third house there the moon the moon and that cancer is on the ascendant and capricorns on the descendant on both charts i mean they're completely different times 10 a.m on the 12th of may and 11th of May at 8 10 a.m. so you can see they're completely different but they're the same so mum has come along and taken him in the car which is the third house both times he's traveling the first time she's just taken him because she's has to do something it's the end of it for her she's at the end of her rope which is this Pluto the 29 degree Leo moon the Saturn in the fifth the square and then at 10 a.m. when he's last seen he's on his way the moon's now aspecting Pluto there in the health sector and he's on his way to the to the end result of which is drugging in terms of gen general astro locations without looking at the map I do believe that he is south of the area that she was so south of Rockford south of Stirling south of Aurora so the area where I showed you which is lower now that's shown here because the last time he was seen the end of the matter and Saturn which is the physical body is in Libra and Libra is south so what Libra also is is um, okay I'll explain the terrain of Libra the terrain that Libra can encompass encompass is a lot it can be gravelly places it could be a harbor where ships come in so it can be one from an uh, even though it's not water it can actually represent a harbor so it's out 
in the air not I, I don't believe that he is buried really deep I think he was just on the surface and that's that's shown by by Libra as well rocky ground and places where there's rocks around that can be a Libran area any area that has the color crimson around any flowers that are crimson um, areas that have pretty looking gardens it can represent that as well it can be in hunting grounds or the side of a hill it can be near violets so I don't know whether there's violets in that area but that's something interesting to note it can be near strawberries something else another another clue there around trees in general even though it's south it we can go slightly west of south that's the direction where Saturn is here so it's south but slightly west and that's Libra as well and it's possibly where there's wood or a wooded area or piles or cut wood maybe so there's a few little clues as to a resting place with Libra on the IC which is our resting place so if we put all these things together we can start to come up with some areas when we do the mapping even more closely so we'll leave it here for now and please watch out for part two I'm going to delve into it way more and we'll see how much closer we get <laughs>